You are sitting in the most unique class in the world in journalism. Afghan 101 has been one of the best classes um, that I've ever been in here at OU. With the class, we get to interview soldiers' families. Instead of a macro perspective on Afghanistan, a, a political perspective, which most people like to take, we're taking more of a micro perspective from the families. One of our professors, Mike Betcher, is embedded in Afghanistan with a unit, and so we get to write the stories that are the background of those soldiers and talk to their families. And it's really interesting because you don't often think about the families. You think about the soldiers and the sacrifices that they're giving on our behalf, but really those families are also giving sacrifices as well. And I've found a lot of really interesting stories and it's been a great experience to be able to tell those. For Afghan 101, I went on the first Kentucky trip, which was incredible. None of us really knew what to expect. So I think that was another reason why all of us kind of bonded. When we walked in, you didn't really know what to do, but everyone was so willing to talk to you. There were families there, a lot of their wives and children, and everyone was just really willing to talk to you. They wanted people to know their story and they wanted the, their actual, the truth to be told. My Kentucky trip ended up being probably one of the best things I've done in my life, and it's definitely turned into one of the top journalism pieces that I've ever contributed. I ended up spending the day with a widow. Her name is Emma Weaver and her husband Todd, uh, First Lieutenant Todd Weaver, stepped on an IED September 9th of 2010. So Emma is left to care for their now 16 month old daughter Kylie um, just by herself and she's picking up and moving to Virginia where her family is from and just starting her life over and so I got to spend the day with her and her friends and see how they interact, how army wives are so important to each other and I'm blessed that through Afghan 101 I have the opportunity to tell her story. We talked to um, one of the soldiers wives and there we got to basically talk about her perspective and how she deals with some of the difficulties and she uses humor, and it's not necessarily humor, but it's more of dark humor, so it's a little interesting because instead of looking at humor as a way of, you know, covering up pain, sometimes humor can be seen as a, you know, as a sign of strength. As a journalist, I feel like Afghan 101 and Roots has really helped me develop. It's really cool because I actually feel like a real reporter and not so much like a student anymore, which is, you know, kind of cool because I'm a senior, so I should start feeling like a real reporter. Mike and John are awesome. I think those two men care so much about students. Mike, we get to hear from him maybe once every week or every other week. He's a character, so is John, um, and they're great. It's so amazing to be able to be taught by both of these professors. They have such amazing backgrounds and, and something that I know will definitely help me in my career, my future career. I think if a student has an idea and has a dream, Mike and John really want to be at the forefront of that and they want to make those dreams happen for students and I think that's really rare and I appreciate them so much. I really like the perspective that they have when we have to talk with our sources and talk with people. They bring more of the human aspects to that and I think that that's really cool. Maybe instead of focusing too much on you know the the basic fundamentals of journalism, they teach you how to be a human first and I really do uh, enjoy that because we're all humans in the end, right? <laughs>